have some helpers who are getting a little impatient. So we are here this morning with a bunch of Studio 5 friends. Everyone wave to Grandma and Grandpa. Say hi. <laughs> We've invited mothers and children to gather around our craft table today. We've got a really fun project that we're going to show you at home how to pull off. And it's fairly simple to paint rocks. So yeah, technically it is that old camp craft from your childhood, but there is more to it though. Small painted rocks are not just a fun craft canvas. They're fun to spread around in a happy community game of hide and seek. People are painting rocks for others to find. Megan Hepner has some crafty advice for us on this concept. How you doing, my friend? Oh, I'm rocking. I mean, uh, it's fun enough <laughs> to prepare for a TV segment. Then you brought your cute little gal. I did. I this brought my cute Emmy as well. And look at all of these artists we have. We have a play date. How fun is I this? I know, I love it. I'm so How excited. Fun and is just this? in time for spring, yep. which is perfect. Rock painting is a good hobby to get your garden dressed up or like you said to spread the joy beyond your yard well tell me about the concept of this fun hide and seek game um you know it's ran i say rack rocks random act of kindness rocks okay. and you paint them and you use the term hiding loosely you okay. place them you don't want them too well hidden because you want people to see them okay. you know and take them and yeah. the idea is they can take it and keep it for themselves yeah or take it and pay it forward and hide it again oh i love that it's so much fun and there's even a facebook group called 801 like the area code 801 uh -huh. rocks uh -huh. um, and people will go on and say hey i dropped some rocks off at the maverick and roy or whatever so they give you little clues little nuggets oh i'm full of puns today <laughs> and you can go find rocks or um people can say hey here i'm on facebook look what i just found so it's kind of you see the return on your investment you can see who found it it's really like a really full circle thing and I love that it stretches out from the mom perspective it stretches out the activity like yes we're painting fun rocks and you're gonna give us some inspiration for that today yes. but then we get out and about we find rocks we hide rocks it becomes a whole day activity it does it can be bite-sized five-minute craft which I love yeah. have it out on the counter yeah it's very low maintenance or a full day's adventure or anywhere in between all yeah. right it's really something our, for everybody our artists are tapping their toes and moms are I saying know. the good behavior card it. only lasts so long right let's <laughs> Get this show on the road. I get you. I get you. What supplies do we need first, Megan, to pull um, this off? You'll want some color medium. Acrylic paint works great. One of my okay. favorites though, is acrylic medium in marker form. Okay. And the Posca pens are just that. These work beautifully. You can get them online. I'll have a link on my website. Oh, nice. Um, also here in town at a store called Blick, okay. which is on 21st South and 11th East, roughly. And these work on the rocks, kind of bumpy, groovy surface. Yes, and you know what? They are so opaque. Oh, yes, so the acrylic is Maggie's show. It's a <laughs> Good job, Mag. Um, so you can like, paint black, and if you mess up, you can take a white one of these, and it'll cover the black. Oh. They are fan it's like white-out quality. Like, they are okay. really good paint. All right. But they also just wipe off with a wet towel. Okay. So they're good for kids. Yeah. Um, if you want to take it a step further, you can get paint brushes and acrylic paint. You can see down in front here, I have some that I've done that way, just as a base coat. Look, how darling. Don't they look, wouldn't that look pretty in your garden just like that? Absolutely. Or you can accessory. have that be your foundation and then put the yeah. art on top. So okay, we ready. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes, everyone's like, yes, please. Megan, take over. Tell us what you want All us right. to do. All right, well, the key ingredient I forgot to mention is a rock, of course. So we want to get your rock. These have all been washed and dried. Um, you will, if you go rock hunting in your neighborhood, make sure you clean them first. I got these in a big bag at Home Depot for 10 bucks, so the craft is very inexpensive. Put it on your plate. To use the pens, you're gonna shake them just like a can of spray paint. You'll hear a ball in there. And these have never been used before. We did that on purpose so everyone at home could see what happens. They have a white nib, and you're gonna put that on your plate and press it. And the color will kind of flow out of there, so be prepared for that. But it's not wasted, because then you can take a paintbrush and use that, but you can also just draw right on there. Pick a side, it doesn't matter. Like Brooke said, these go in grooves, on smooth rocks. These are called river rocks, but any rock works. Okay, I love the instant smiles that we're seeing. Isn't this fun? Yes. And my daughter's only two years old, she does this, and what she was doing was taking her water and then getting her paint, and it was a big watery mess, and I hated it. Then when it dried, I stressed, I shouldn't say I hated it. <laughs> it looked all watercolored, it was gorgeous. Yeah. So don't be afraid to let your kid just do their thing. They make magic happen when they're just doing their thing. So they do become Hi. little pops of art for you, like you said, your garden or even your home. Yeah, and I did it with my mom, so all ages, you know, from grandma down to my two-year-old, it's applicable. And um, it is very fun with these pens. This is what I mean by low maintenance. These paint pens can sit out on your counter. Yeah. And you just grab one. And Maggie does that all, every day after school. She'll draw a little art on a rock. And yeah. then sometimes on her way to school, we'll drop one off to a friend's house. Surprise, you know. Yeah. So. Now, we know at this age there's learning in everything. As a mom, can you coach them through, like, some shapes, some letters? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Older kids about Maggie's age, she's five and in kindergarten and up. This is a fun surface to write on. So you can write little letters and notes on here, like, I like you. Maggie has one that says, 
Be kind, another one that says you are loved. Good shapes, are, uh, hearts, hearts are always hearts fun. Hearts are good. I'm gonna rainbow come over stripes here. Can we do fun. a little pull? I see a lot of you doing a lot of rainbow, which is beautiful. Okay, this is Kinley, right? Hi, Kinley, how are you? You good? I know you were kind of bummed that your, that your smock wasn't pink, but your rock's pink. You're doing a great job. Good job, girlfriend. Okay, Reese, what are you drawing? A rock. Yeah, a rock. Of course. Hello, ladies. I'm drawing a rock. Okay, down here to Hayden. You're doing some really pretty scribbles. What colors are you doing? Purple and white. Are those your favorite colors? Can you say go Wildcats? That's right. That's right. That's right. Ty, right. my friend, what are you doing, bud? Blue. I see a lot of blue. Is that your favorite color? Yeah. Yeah. What other colors you got going on? Yeah. Green. Green and yellow. Yellow. And I'm just in love with your haircut. Can I say that, handsome dude? Handsome dude. Okay, I'm sneaking over here. Sarah, what do we got going on? What are you drawing? Um, a ninja. A ninja? Yeah. Megan, did you hear that? That is so cute. <laughs> a ninja. And Megan, some of these rocks get uh, kind of complicated in the design, right? As they get older, yes. and people get more involved. Or they're crazy moms. <laughs> me. Let's be honest. Just pointing the hand at yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. And I skipped blue over Gunner here. Gunner. Oh my gosh, you're doing like a rainbow, bud. That's very cool. Is this fun? Yeah. Yeah. What do you like the most about it? Just the paint? Kind of fun to get messy, huh? On our turf, right, Mom? Fun to get messy yeah. on our turf, on our turf. And we've got these two cute curly sisters over here working it. And Tommy at the end is kind of holding down our fort. Megan, end of the day, what's the goal with a project like this? Well, just creativity. Yeah. You know, that's so important for kids of all ages. Get them off the screens, off the couch, doing something fun at the dinner table, and yeah. then sharing kindness and teaching them that lesson of how excited we are when we find one. What sprung this all to life was we found a rock. Well, my friend did, Lael, in the airport. Oh my gosh. And we paint rocks, but we never knew the whole hide and seek concept till right. she did. And right. now it's like just taking our world to a new level to show people that we care about them. We don't even know them, but they're cared about. Because sometimes your day can be really crummy. Right. And a little note from a five year old that says, You are loved. You know, totally. I get all emotional. Sorry, totally. but it's really impactful. And I love important, it. So. It's a great community movement that's happening yeah. for sure. All right, you guys, here's your instructions. Keep working, okay? And we're going to come back. I'm going to talk to Anna, Lynn, and Emma and see their rocks. And of course, Maggie and Emmy here, who conveniently are being ignored right in front of us. How's it going, Emmy? <laughs> What was that? I drawing a monster. You're drawing a monster? Yeah. Wow, you're getting aggressive. She's an there. artist. <laughs> what about you, girlfriend? What are you doing? Um, I don't know. You don't know. It's a work in progress. All right, I'm going to check back in in a couple minutes, okay? Moms, thank you so much. Busy hands. We'll check in in just a little bit. Megan, thank you. Of course. That's fun craft thank inspiration. You. Okay, listen, these guys are stealing the show. We are having a blast hosting our 12, I think I counted about 12 new favorite friends and their moms. They brought their moms along too. How nice of them, right? They are demonstrating kind of this mommy and me craft project. Great for grandmas as well. Decorating rocks, maybe then hiding them in the community for other people to find. Megan Hepner is tuning us in to this idea. And you talked about the kindness that is in this project, right? And yes. it gets them moving yes. and that's There's awesome. To get yeah. your rocks kind ready. Okay. And that's just to seal them when you're all done and your paint is dry. How do and we do I that? didn't mention that, so I wanted to hurry and throw that yeah, out please. there. Um, you can buy spray. Some people use Mod Podge or Decoupage. I wouldn't, if you're going to really get into this, I'd invest in a spray adhesive. Okay. Um, like this one by Krylon works well. There's also one by Aline's. Okay. And just look for a clear top coat and um, weatherproof, it. and it's great. So well, my own Emmy is having a blast. I think she she's is cleaning loving herself it. as much as she is the table. Yes. The rocks, but you know, that's it goes. Maggie, you're having fun too, right, girlfriend? I'm going to sneak over here to the corner. Our cute curlies, as I've been calling them all day, Annalyn and Emma. How's it going, Annalyn? What are you painting? Uh. What are you painting? What are you making? A princess. A princess? A princess? Oh my gosh. I could listen to her talk all day. That's beautiful. <laughs> Emma, what do you got going, girlfriend? What are you making? A princess. A princess too? Tag team. <laughs> Tag team. I can see that, right? Pink all around. Yep. Sarah's got a cute Olaf, the, the snowman going down there. Have you guys had fun with this? Yeah, if we send you home with some paints and some rocks, will you keep painting for us and keep hiding and send us some pictures of your creations from home? Yeah? This was so fun. Megan, thank you. You're going to post oh, yeah. some rock inspiration. You've got some cool designs down there on your website for us. Yeah, and I'm gonna we're going to hide some in Gardner Village and at Primary Children's Hospital around town that have more rocks than 10 people need, right? Yeah. So yeah. we're going to put them out there, and I'm going to also launch um, painting picnics in the park. So I'll announce that on my website. How fun. We're going to dial you up. Uh, MeganHepner.com, H-O-E-P-P-N-E-R. We'll link you from our website, right. too. Everybody wave at the camera. Say goodbye. Thank you so much, Moms. Thank you. It's a big undertaking to get everyone's hair combed and teeth brushed before 11.
11 a.m. I get that. So thanks for pulling it off.